Okay, so I've opened the Windows Photos app on my computer and I am ready to get started to show you how to create and edit your video. So once it's open here, you'll see up in the top bar here, you'll see an option that says Video Projects. So when you click that, you can click the big red box here that says New Video Project to start a blank video. So name your video, give it something that makes sense to you, click OK. And you'll see here we've got a box where our project library is empty. We need to add photos and videos in order to get started. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click the red add button here and I'm going to get them from my PC. On my desktop here, I've got two or three different uh, videos and photos I can use as I see fit. I just click open and those jump in here to my clip bin ready for me to use. So in order to get those onto the timeline, all you need to do is click and drag the one you want to put it into the order you want them to have. So let's start with that green screen one of me. We'll move on to the screencast and then maybe we will finish up with the snow here. Why not? Because it's in Iowa and in Iowa in October it snows apparently. You'll see on the timeline a short description of how long each video is and whether it has sound. So this first one here is 7.81 seconds. Next one is 1 minute 16 seconds and then 20 seconds on the end. So at this point you're going to have to think about what order you want your video clips to be in. If you wanted the snow for instance to be in the middle, all you do is you click and drag it and move it here to the middle. You want to move it back very simple, straightforward, and easy to do. What if we wanted to trim a little bit off the beginning or end of a clip? Well, all you do is you select the clip you want to work with, put a checkbox in here, and then along the top here where you have all the tools in the middle of your screen, you can hit the button that says trim. It's going to open a new window here where you can drag the red handles to show where you would like the video to start and where you would like the video to stop. If you want to check, you can take this lollipop playhead here, move it along to the place to make sure you are in the right place. And then once you have everything set for the beginning and end time of your clip, you can come over here and click done. And that's trimmed my video down to one minute and 10 seconds. So let's say that in the middle of my video clip, I had a large coughing fit that I wanted to try and take out of my video. So that's an easy thing to do as well. All you need to do is select the clip, we'll work with this one again, move over here this time until we get to split this video clip. And so at this point, what I have to do here is I move this lollipop slider over to where I think my coughing fit started. Now I can play this and make sure and get it in the right place, but let's say it's right here. I'm going to have my coughing fit. So then I'm going to hit done. And what this does here is it splits this single video clip into two parts. So this second part here, this is where my coughing fit was just about to start. So I'm going to go into this one here, listen back to where my cough starts and just see how long that lasted for. All right, so it was about three seconds. So I'm going to move it up to the three second mark here and click done again. So now what I've done is I've split my clip twice and that gave me three clips one 24 seconds, one 3 seconds, and one 43 seconds. Now this 3 second clip here, this is where I had my coughing fit. I was coughing for 3 seconds, I don't need that in my video, I just select the box, come over to the trash can, and that one goes away. So let's think about adding text to a video clip. So let's start with this first one here, this green screen clip. This one I will select and then I will come over here and choose the text option to add a title or a caption. 
and all you need to do now is type your text at the top of the screen. You can see here it's pretty nice and easy. It appears in the lower third. That is the default placing for the text here. But underneath I've got layout options so I can put it here in the middle, I can put it in the top, I can put it over on the left or the right. So wherever I want to adjust and put my text, these are my layout options for where those texts go. What about the actual text itself? So I've got some different options on here for what my type text could look like and depending on which one I choose, they can be very different and very dramatic. So once you find the one you want, you'll see this uh, red bar slider here. This is the duration of your text, how long you want it to appear on your video clip. And you can move it to different parts. So if you only want it to appear for a couple of seconds, you can move it to the part you need, preview it, you'll see it appear and then disappear on your screen. So once you have your text done and in the right place, you can click done. Okay, so we are ready to add some music now underneath my project and different ways I could do this. I could come up here to the project library and I could add an MP3 file if I had that on my desktop, if I had something I was willing to use for this project. But you can also take a look at the background music that Windows 10 has built into this little video editor because there are some advantages that go alongside that. So if I click here for background music, you can see here I've got different types of music that I can choose from but perhaps the most exciting part here at the top it says the music automatically adjusts to the length of the video. You will not get any of those abrupt ends to your music tracks because the music will automatically finish at an appropriate time based on the length of your video. Microsoft is very clever using machine learning to adjust the length of the video to automatically match the length of what you are trying to produce here. So let's say I will uh, choose pixelated here and I can even sync my video to the music's beat. I'm not going to do that. It's going to change up some of my timings here. Here's the music volume. So this is interesting. You might want to adjust this so that it's not blaring over the top of your screencast. So put this to what you want it to be and then click done. And now we've got music underneath the background of our video. You can preview that here and play it and hear it back. So let's say we are done with everything we want to have on our screen here. You click finish video in the top right hand corner and you choose a quality that you want. Microsoft is recommending 1080p here. That is fine for me. Under more options, nothing really you want to pay too much attention to. And then you just click export. It will ask you where you would like to choose as a save location for this video. Then you click export. It will save your video and have everything stitched together exactly the way you created it inside of the Windows 10 Photos app.